Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing Raquel Welch Voltage. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. And today, I'm going to be reviewing Raquel Welch Voltage in Glazed strawberry. Now, this is the first time I have ever reviewed a Raquel Welch wig, and this is the first opportunity that I have had to actually get a wig from Raquel Welch, examine it, and, you know, review it. So, I've seen them before. I've got a, a couple of friends that wear Raquel Welch wigs, but I've never had an opportunity to actually get it, examine it, and do anything with it. Now, this wig was sent to me by a sweet, sweet friend and one of the subscribers to this channel. So, I am going to be giving this wig away after I review this wig and make another vi video comparing this to an Ellen Villa Click because the styles are very, very similar. So, let me turn around and let me let you take a look at this wig. Here we go. I don't think I have any hair sticking out, ladies, but I could. I've had on like four wigs today, so anything could be possible. I think I got it all up in there, but this color is simply gorgeous. Let me get in here so you all can see this color really well. This is the glazed strawberry. Now, I really like this color. I love the way that the hair fibers feel nice and silky, nice and soft, and I like the fact that you can really, I mean, if you wanna poof this wig up, girls, this is the wig for you. This wig has a decent amount of permatease, but it doesn't look like it's absolutely overloaded with permatease. So if you wanted to even do like your little wings out on the side and not, you know, do it behind your ears like I had it and flip it out in the back, you certainly could do a little bit wilder configuration with this wig without any problem whatsoever. So let's look at the cap and then we'll just go from there. Be right okay. back. So let's take a look at the cap. All right, the wig cap is pretty much just a basic wig cap. Of course, this is a synthetic wig. It's got the open weft designs and it's got the Velcro adjustable straps in the back. Now, there's also the bendable ear tabs with the little metal piece on the inside. The front of this is felted, so it's gonna be nice and smooth laying up here against your, against your hairline. And that's gonna feel nice and good. You can bend that around your glasses. So, I really like the wig. Now, let's get this in here so you all can see this hair really good. Now, she's not picking up quite as red in here as she actually looks in person. This wig has a lot of red gold tone to it. So, let me see if I can do a light adjustment to get you a little bit better look at the color of this now, wig. Let's take a quick look at the specs on this wig and we'll just see what we're actually looking at. I kind of got a little mess going on after I took the wig off, but let me pull up the specs on my phone. We'll take a look at them. Hold on. Okay, this wig is part of the Memory Cap collection from Raquel Welch. It is an average cap size. The front is four inches, the crown is five inches, the sides are 3.5 inches, the back is three inches, and the nape is 2.25 inches. The memory cap is this. It is a state-of-the-art wig technology uh, that replaces the wide stretch lace used in most of today's wigs with a thinner, more resilient stretch material that actually molds to the shape of the head for a lighter, better fit. Now, I don't know about that. I can't tell a whole lot of difference in the way this wig feels from any other wig. Okay, like I said, this wig is extremely similar to Ellen Villa Click. The style, the weight, everything, it feels very, very similar to that wig. It's got that same vibe to me. This is just a really good basic wig. If you need just a little just pixie type cut or a little shag, this wig would certainly be something that you might want to consider. I actually really, really like this wig. And, you know, this is my first real you know, personal experience with Raquel Welch wigs. And I've got to say, I've been really impressed with the fibers. I've been really impressed with just, you know, everything. The look of the wig, the feel of the wig, everything. And like I said, I've seen them. 
I have actually been in wig shops looking at them. I've got a couple of friends that have them and I've liked the way they looked on, on them, but I didn't know how the cap would work for me. And I've got to say the cap is a little large for me right in here, but I don't know that it's any larger than any other wig that I wear. And in fact, it may actually be a little bit smaller. This wig is a little bit larger than an Ellen Villa wig in the circumference. I do have on a wig grip with the wig. So if you have an average circumference, this wig should fit you just absolutely fine. Um, I think the wig is cute. I think it's, I think it's a hit, it's adorable. This is not one of the newer styles. This is a, a staple in the Raquel Welch collection. This wig has been around, I know, for at least five years because I've looked at this wig since that long thinking, you know, I might get it and I haven't gotten it yet. But I am going to be doing a giveaway on this wig. If this is something that you're interested in, down in the comment section, just say, you know, Raquel Welch wig. And I will put your name in the hat and I will be doing a drawing and picking somebody to win this wig. Now, just be sure that if you speak that you would like to have this wig, be sure that you monitor the, the channel so that, because I'm going to be giving it away not long afterwards and I will be posting it in the community tab who won. So be sure to keep checking back at the community tab so you will know who won this wig. So... That's, that's about all I got to say for this wig. Uh, I am gonna make another little video before I give this wig away um, because I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison to this from this wig to Ella Villa Click so we'll know exactly what the difference is because it is such a similar little wig that um, I would kind of, I'd kind of like to just do a side-by-side -side comparison. From my memory, with, with just speaking right off the top of my head, I'm gonna say this wig is probably a little bit more of a denser wig than the Ellen Villa Click. Um, it feels like it might have a smidge more permatease, but I don't know. I'll have to do a side by side. So we'll just, we'll see how that goes. But I do like this wig. I think this wig is definitely, definitely a hit. I, I don't think you could go wrong with purchasing, with purchasing this wig and this glazed strawberry. This color is actually gorgeous. If you like a nice golden reddish blonde, this, this is right up your alley, ladies. I'm, I'm telling you, this color is gorgeous. That's all I got today, ladies. I hope y'all have a great day. Check out everything down in the description box. I've dropped a link to everything I do. There's a link down there to Hair Kitty Kitty. Check that out when you get a chance. There's a coupon code if you order on that website for 30% off. Um, I've got a book down there, Lord Am I Going Crazy. It's 30 Day Devotional Guide for Women Over 40. And that's it. That's all I got to say. I hope you all have a great day. God bless you all. I love you guys. Maranatha, folks. Uh -huh.